Coach, you look back over the beginning of the season, it's pretty tough to do a lot of complaining. It's still unbeaten, the streak's still intact, still number one in the country, but I'm sure there's a lot of things you look back on, and there was some there was some narrow, narrow windows of opportunity in there, and you, and you got out unscathed. Well, yeah, we uh, – uh, if, you, if you view it as a whole, you know, you're 10-0, and, and, and like you say, the uh, – you know the number one ranking and what have you, and and so you have to be pleased with that. It's better than being, it's better than being nine and one and playing good, I guess. I'd rather be ten and zero and have some questions about ourselves. But uh, um, you know, all in all, it's a pretty good semester. We we have, uh, you know, we've had to depend on uh, uh, a lot of new faces uh, this season, but for the most part, they've stepped up and done a pretty good job. Yeah, we'll start out with Yannick Marrera. Here's a kid we knew could play defense. We knew he could rebound. Now all of a sudden he figures out how to score some points, and that's got to be a, a bright spot in this lineup, getting some points out of that center position that you simply didn't get last year. Well, I think he could have. We just uh, – last year, I mean, he sc- he had some he had some games where he scored some points, but he uh, uh, obviously was not the primary option last year, you know, with, uh, with the shooting guards that we had. But, uh, you know, he, he was – uh, we relied on him to, you know, to block shots, defend, and rebound uh, last season. But he has – we've gone to him more this year. It's been more of an emphasis, and it has been from day one, and, and uh, you know, that the ball's going to go inside, uh, you know, in generally, uh, generally speaking, before we, you know, before we look for something on the outside. So – and I think for the most part that, you know, they've kind of accepted that and what have you. But, but Yannick is a, you know, he's a he's a big threat uh, inside, and uh, you know we have some other ones that are uh, as well. So uh, we are an inside-out team this year, I think, and so we've had to adjust a lot of stuff about uh, the way we approach the game. Let's talk about some of these other new faces you just mentioned, relying on. We knew Marrera would be back in this lineup. You come back with a very good point guard out front. But the shooting guard spots really changed a lot of help over the last uh, over this last semester, and they seem to change from day to day too. Uh, you know, one day we'll have a couple guys that'll knock you know knock some shots down, and then uh, and then some other days, you know, you don't even know who those two guys were anymore. And so, uh, it, it if we've been consistent on anything from the outside, it's it's uh, that we're inconsistent, and uh, different guys have picked up uh, and made some shots. I know we were. What against Temple on the on the in our last weekend of play, the first night I think we hit I don't know maybe eight or nine, ten threes, and then out of nineteen or twenty, the next day were three out of nineteen. So uh, that's kind of a mark of this team uh, this season. But uh, uh, they did hit a couple shots when they when they desperately needed them. So uh, who knows? You know, I mean, we're not. I don't want to discourage them uh, from shooting. Uh, you know, shooting is a there's kind of a you know, you, you don't want to mess with their confidence uh, a whole lot, but by the same by the same token, on the bench you want to have some confidence in the fact that they might make the shot. There you go. So, you know, you chick, go. it's the chicken and egg uh, sure. uh, parable there. So, but uh, you know, as long as they keep playing hard and trying to do what's right and what have you, and, and they shoot good shots, I mean, hey, some are going to go in and some are not. And uh, to this point, we've made enough uh, to stay undefeated. It's tough to match. Your conference schedule, playing out of conference games, I think. Well, I don't think you can unless you know, unless you spend a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time and, and uh, going around the country and playing, you know, a team or two in Florida, you know, one in uh, maybe in uh, uh, Utah or, or um, um, Idaho, um, possibly going up to Iowa and what have you. But but I don't think anybody is is going to match uh, what we're going to face here in the next. Uh, uh, the month of January, uh, you know, the teams in our league, we had two or three teams in our league that are nationally ranked uh, and deservedly so. Uh, and and it's it's going to be extremely tough. That's, you know, in the past, it's been one of the strengths of this conference. And, and one of the reasons I think we've done so well nationally is because if you can if you can get through this league when you get to the national tournament, in, in all uh, honesty, it has not been as, as tough as the region uh, has been for us. So, uh, and I, I don't see anything changing this season. I see where, you know, I think we're one. I think Howard's two now maybe. Uh, I was reading a while ago, I think New Mexico is like in the top 20 or 25. Uh, so, and those are those are two teams that we're going to have to play, and we're going to have to play them here in the next uh, two weeks when the conference opens. So many times you see a conference, you see a great team, some good ones, and maybe some bad ones. This is more like the great ones and then the good ones. This is, quite frankly, a conference – 
And although you can look at it, certain games and go, well, these are should win games for us. There's a lot of places not only to play great teams, but places you get snake bit in this conference as well. Well, I'm not real sure what you mean by should win games. <laughs> uh, uh, they are must win games if you want to if you want to be a conference champion. Uh, you know, we it, it, it seemed to me like just taking last year as an example, uh, we went undefeated and we won the league by four games. I think it was. I think I think the second place team maybe had four losses in the league, but it seemed to me like we were always one basket away from being tied for the conference, and and, and, and which is what happens. And uh, it's rare that a team does what we did last year, uh, you know, particularly in the league to go, what, 16-0 and 0 or 14-0, and 0, however many games we played. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. And and there's usually one or two games separating uh, one through four uh, in our league. And, and I think this year is going to be, from what I've seen, is going to be, uh, you know, another uh, uh, race right down to the finish. You look back at this first semester, you know, and you've played a couple of close games. Now, these close games, did you see anything in there? That, I mean, besides the inconsistency outside shooting, did you see something in there that said, this is something I've got to get done between now and the time that conference well, we've been, starts? Yeah, the, the two games that could have gone the other way, the Temple game down there and then the Hill game here, we made serious, serious mistakes, uh, uh, I think, on the possession to win the game. And I, I don't... I don't know, uh, you know, what you recall about it, but uh, we gave Temple two shots to, to tie us down there. Well, we actually gave him one shot to beat us in regulation and one to tie us in overtime. And then what happened with Hill here, I mean, we gave him an, an uncontested layup at the end of the game. And so, you know, those kind of things, I mean, this team has got to has got to play the game for 40 full minutes. You got to play it to the very end. I mean, if we're if we're going to struggle and be close at the very end, then we're going to have to gut it up at the end and play smart. And and we've not done that. So that is something that that is a serious cause uh, of concern. You cannot keep going down to the end and playing uh, not smart, so to speak, doing stupid things and still expect to win. I mean, it, that's going to bite you at some point. And, and so we're going to have to learn from that uh, and, and earn the victory instead of luck into it. Anything you look at through this first semester that surprised you how well this team did? Anything you go back to and say, well, I'm, I'm really happy with, with the way this came out through the first semester of basketball? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the effort. Um, I mean, I think for the most part, uh, playing hard has been something that these guys have done almost uh, each and every day, and, and for sure in, in the games. We have not always played, you know, uh, you know, a high IQ game, but 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 we but we've played smart. Uh, I mean, I'm not smart. We have played hard, and uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, got to be pleased, obviously, with the with the rebounding. I think our defense is a lot better than than what I thought it was going to be, uh, but it has a lot to do with shot blockers at the end, and then. Uh, Offensively, I think we're getting better. Uh, it, obviously, if we make shots, we're going to be, uh, you know, very tough to deal with. But we've been able to still score 70 to 80 points a game, even not shooting a high percentage. And and so we're doing something right there too, as well. So all, you know, all in all, I'm, you'd have to be pretty satisfied with 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 where we are. Uh, you got to be a little scared about where we got to go uh, in relationship to who we have to play against. And, and we open up the league, and, and I think in three days we play play New Mexico military there. We play, uh, what, Midland here, Howard here. I mean, like, it's like Thursday, Saturday, Monday, or Monday, Thursday, Saturday, or some some crazy thing. It's a know, wicked just, bad start. That's yeah, for sure, I mean, that Saturday game throw. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's bad scheduling on uh, somebody's part. Not me, <laughs> but uh, I would have never done that. That's but, right. But uh, the way that the way that it was drawn and the way the the the, the days fall in the calendar, it's it, it's not good. And then I think we played in Mexico, like maybe the fourth or fifth game over there. So I tell you what, we're going to know a whole lot about what's going to happen uh, within the first two weeks of the conference.